in Romans chapter 8, verse 26, it says, Likewise, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, also helpeth our infirmities. Now, that word infirmities is number 769, Strong's Concordance. It's the Greek word asthenia. It means infirmities or weaknesses. Now, we know here it's not referring to sickness, right? And you have to look at the context of where the word is used to determine what it's being used about. But here he says, likewise, the Spirit also helps our weaknesses. Now, what weaknesses is he talking about? Well, he tells us right here. For we know not, that's your weakness. That's the weakness he helps. We know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit, it says itself, should be himself, maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now, first off, notice it says that the Spirit himself makes intercession for us, right? Why? Because we don't always know how to pray. Now, how does he make intercession for you? How does the Holy Spirit? And we know that Jesus ever liveth to make intercession for us. Isn't that right? So he's seated at the right hand of the Father, and he's making intercession. But now the Spirit makes intercession for us in areas that we don't know how to pray. What does that mean? That means that the Holy Spirit is going to pray through us it says, with groanings which cannot be uttered. So here he's talking about the Holy Spirit in us is groaning with utterings, you might say, that can't be uttered. In other words, he's saying, all he's talking about here is that he's saying, when the Holy Spirit is in you, as you pray in the Spirit, as you pray in other tongues, then that is him making intercession for you. So the degree that the Holy Spirit can, can make intercession has a lot to do with how much you allow him to make those groanings and those utterings. Now, a lot of times we talk about tongues in and of itself, and tongues is, is uh, you know, vitally important for the believer. That's why Jesus gave it to us. The greatest gift ever given to the world was salvation uh, through Jesus. The greatest gift ever given to the church was the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And so, as we said before, being born again uh, gives you the authority to become a son of God, but the baptism of the Spirit gives you the ability to act like one. So that's the difference. That's why you need it. Now, so he makes intercession for us. Now, but now notice, if he's going to make intercession for us, he's going to do it through us. But if we don't know how to pray, then he's going to pray in a way that we don't know because it's him praying. If we knew how to pray, we'd just play, pray in our language. But because we don't know how, we allow him to pray through us as we pray in other tongues, not knowing what we're saying, but he knows. He gives us the tongues to pray out, and that's intercession. And then Jesus takes that intercession, goes to the Father and says, here's what my son or my daughter needs. And the Father rubber stamps it and goes, done. And then it's granted. All right? Now... It says in verse 27, And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. So now we know that the Spirit of God makes intercession according to the mind of the Spirit and according to the will of God. This is one of the reasons why this is so important. Now, you can pray in other tongues, and then there's times whenever you can groan even in other tongues. Right when the certain things are going on. See, here's the problem. Most people let their problems settle and stay in their soul. When you do that, you get wore down. You get beat up. You get pushed down. But if you learn how to take that and transfer it from the soul to your spirit and then pray that out in tongues, then the Holy Spirit can pray it out. And that's you casting your care upon Jesus. And he takes that thing, and then all of a sudden now that problem gets worked out. Why? Because you don't know how to solve the problem, or you would have already solved the problem. Amen. And because you don't know how, the Holy Spirit prays through you how to solve it, and then the solving happens, and then that problem's done. Amen. 